Hey booktube, how are you guys doing today? That is super. Um, today, well, a couple things. Um, I have to do another TBR because um, I finished a couple of the books that I thought was going to take me a little bit. So, uh, I finished this and I finished this, and I'm about halfway through with this. Now, what this video is, as you have seen by the title, um, I want to say that this is the most pleasurable paperback I have ever read. Now, I'm not saying that this is like the best story I've ever read. I'm talking about this book as a whole. Again, this is from Vin or Modern Library. Let's talk about the cover. The cover has a matte finish, but it's not gaudy. Okay, it's not overly matte if that makes sense. I've had books that have a matte cover that when I read it, I feel like I need to go wash my hands right away. Like, I feel like my hand's covered in some, like, weird powder or something. Um, so that's a pleasure to hold. And my fingers just right over it. Um, the weight is unbelievable. It, it's like holding a feather, okay? The paper quality in here is just really nice. It just feels good when you, when you touch it. Um, the line spacing is very pleasurable. It's not hard to read. Um, Margins are good when you're reading it one-handed. It's perfectly adequate. The top doesn't bend over when you're just doing a one-hand job on it. You can fold the cover and read it. And it goes right back. This book right here could be... The most pleasurable, pleasurable book experience I've ever had. Um, I know I've made this statement before. I made it about some penguins. Um, I said it about um, hunger, I believe. And I said it about... I think there's a couple Echo books... Um, like Bukowski, Harper Collins. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to do a video of the most pleasurable books to read from a tactile experience. Okay? Because I think that's really important. I mean, there's so many different ways to ingest your books now. I think um, publishers need to do everything they can to make sure that what you're reading pleases you as you hold it. Um, this just feels so good. It's so light. Um, it's probably not very... Like, how many pages is this? 155? 156? 156 pages. I mean, it's not a big book, but, I mean, good God. This thing is just... I'm beating a dead horse now. And it's got a beautiful cover. I mean, <clears throat> so far, the only thing about this I don't like is Jack Thorne's introduction. And... Eh, whatevs. But, um, like, this was was not a pleasure to hold while I read. The book itself was fucking amazing. I loved it. 
but this was a chore holding this and flipping through it and um, everything. But this does have a bitchin' index, and I'll talk about that when I do a book review on it. Um, the index in that book is sick. Um, it just makes that book like such a pleasure to like flip through, even though I just said it wasn't. Um, but dude, this book, oh my gosh. Look at it, look at it. This is just, every paperback should feel like this. Just saying. Um, and when I finish the book, I'll tell you all about it. Um, but yeah, I need to beef up my TBR because um, after this, all I have left is Batman, which is awesome. But I really don't want to burn through Batman in like a day. I want to um, savor that. So, shit, I missed the button.